We're backstage at Pier 17. Uh, the Brooklyn Bridge makes the best backdrop I could ever imagine. This venue wouldn't exist if it wasn't for the ability to control the noise spilling out into the neighborhood, but still present a concert level show up here on the rooftop. Anya. SIA Acoustics is known for a large number of projects and a wide range of projects, performing arts centers, recording studios, stadiums, uh, amphitheaters. Generally, we get involved where sounds critical issues are important to the project. The only real drawback was dispersion of sound. So we started doing the models and looking at the dispersion of sound, and we narrowed it down to a few systems that offered the ability to control sound and the Anya system was really the only viable choice for getting this much control both horizontally and vertically. Here through the build of this stage and venue and have run production for every concert we've had through Live Nation this season 2018. It was a new system for me. It's a new system for a lot of people that I've encountered. So people were understandably a bit apprehensive at first just using a, a sort of a new piece of equipment like this but the response has been overwhelmingly positive. Everyone's walked away feeling great about it, and I've just gotten a ton of compliments. Anya, Anna, and Otto. Uh, from the AW, what we found was the level of sophistication of the software, the control capabilities, were really far ahead of the, of the other offerings. Off the side, stayed right and left. It drops off a lot quicker than down because we are above. We also have, you know, the water, which we're, we're challenged with. But, um, you know, once you set your perimeter, uh, you know, the, the drop off outside that perimeter is significant. You could take a phone call, you know, you could you could be in 100 dBs and then walk, you know, 10 feet to the left and take a phone call. So uh, I think I think that's pretty impressive. We really had to earn the trust of all of the people involved. That meant setting up a complete adaptive system with Anya and Otto for a demo, putting people in 30 different locations with sound level meters, measuring sound, having live performance, having playback, running sound up to 110, 112 within the concert venue, and convincing people that you're not going to be hearing much sound. One of our more premier properties is the Seaport District here in New York City. Pier 17, part of the project, is certainly the crown jewel. Partnering with a company like EAW really helped ensure that we were going to have a sound system that didn't impact the daily lives of the people who lived and worked around the Seaport District and Pier 17. So we went through exhaustive efforts to test the sound system, to meet with community members, and ensure that concerts on the rooftop at Pier 17 would not be a negative impact to their day-to-day -day lives. I've been up here all summer since we put the system in and we have seen probably 20 acts of every kind of variety perform on this rig. This is the first time that we've had a system sit in one location for an entire season and have lots of different acts come through and perform on it. But we've been here to uh, make sure that everybody has a positive experience on the PA. And it's been a real success overall because everyone has come away from this. If they've used it before, they had another good experience with it. If they've never seen it before, they've had their expository opportunity to check it out. And we've even had people show up who were downright excited because they'd heard of it, but they hadn't gotten a mix on it yet. So that's been really neat is to show this to the different people at different levels and at different uh, exposures. Our work for Pier 17, we relied heavily on the EAW factory support, the engineering team at EAW. They were able to help us understand what we could and couldn't do with the sound resolution software, how to best set up the system, how to best uh, configure the system. They looked at our requirements and told us what was realistic and what other people had achieved and what they thought could be achieved. Uh, the support was really world class, it was just great.